Lower Baghdad, dancers of death, murder in the air with the next breath. Macho queens selling war makers toys, raining destruction, good old boys. Death bringer in Queen George's eyes, read his lips, war maker lies. Telephone poles. <laughs> what the hell am I doing back here? <laughs> And you don't remember it many times. You remember when you smoked medicine with me and yeah. we had the oh, food? Oh man. <laughs> I couldn't reach the kitchen anymore. <laughs> he couldn't reach And I wasn't hungry, man. That was I, I smelled all this pizza thing, oh man, and chicken, and everything was there, but I couldn't reach it. He, he's sitting at the table knowing he wanted it was food. Terrible. But he didn't know how to do it. <laughs> you know, he, he was a mama. vegetable. I hear you. You heard about Richard Cesario? Same, same. <laughs> Richard Cesario almost passed on the yeah, table. Yeah, I heard. But it's strong stuff, man. It oh, is. yeah. He, he, and, and Fritz only did one or two hits. I mean, that was I it. I find it very enjoyable. Yeah. Candy. But that was one funny thing. All this food's there on the table, and Fritz is just in Never Never Land. <laughs> <laughs> and I, looked, I looked across the table, and there was Irving sitting. And he looked at me, and he only did this. <laughs> And then he backed off. Well, he didn't really back off. Yeah, of, back of course off. not. <laughs> I thought I got you some food. I don't remember. Oh, shoot, no. <laughs> what can I have? A piece of pizza. <laughs> I'd like to get like that again myself. That actually. was too much. No, it really it's was. It's, it's not funny anymore. <laughs> it's it's, it's funny to tell the story. Oh, yeah, but... Just uh, not to live the act. No, not at all. It's terrible. Second bag of drinks, second bag of drinks. But what's your thought about... Casinos. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. That's a good idea? I don't think they are a good idea. Why not? Because it creates classism on the reservations. Certain people make a lot of money off of it and other people stay poor. Well, in, in near Minneapolis, you have uh, Shakopee. Shakopee? Yeah. They, they have a very big casino over there. They share the money amongst <laughs> the, en the enrolled members. Yes, but what's happening is that the, the kids, they don't go to school anymore because they know that they earn money when they're 18. I know. You're Suppose all over the road. What's going on? I was buttoning my shirt. As long as there's no cars on either side of me, I'm full. 
butt, only just the butt of my shirt. There was no yeah, chance. Right. I can't help it if the car doesn't go straight when I haven't got my hands on the wheel. <laughs> Is that driving 101? <laughs> Button your shirt and let go of the steering wheel? Yeah. Oh, okay, I just wanted to make sure. As long as there's nothing on either side of your behind you for right. quite a long distance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You didn't think I did that safely? Oh, it was wonderful. I have all kinds of safe tricks. Mm -hmm. Only 249 to Buffalo. That's right. Oh, let's change the subject. It says gas too. His Look at that. Is, his name is Benedo. Oh, so oh they, 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 they got, got a new pope? Italian pope. Yeah. yeah. He's a German, Joseph Ratzinger. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's the one? Yeah. Oh, cut the shit. He was in the Hitler Youth and everything. Did you know that? Huh? He was in the Hitler Youth. Really? really? Yes, he certainly was. They said that he, he tried to pull away from Nazism when he got to be an older person, but he was raised in the fucking Aryan tradition of Hitler Youth with the Sing Heil and all that fuck. So they, they put that singer in there, huh? Unfucking believable. <laughs> he's very conservative. He's gonna he's gonna start to undo stuff that the other folk did. But who gives a shit? Fuck. You close now, man. Yeah, man. Jamin, man. Yeah, this is it. This is it. It's 35. Yeah, it was close. 1935. Like them big ass guys. I just saw the garage. I think I don't know where to park anymore. Well, he's in the park. middle of there. That's what I'll do. And everybody can Good get idea. it. Yeah. Good idea. Whatever you say is alright with me. Yoo hoo! <laughs> I had a new roof put on. <laughs> wow, it's good to see you guys. Here you go. Hey, you even brought the big guy with you. Hey, hey, hey go on. Hey, big guy, you have a big nose. That's just how it is. It, it was razor sharp. Remember, it was the razor sharp. No, it wasn't yeah. flakes. It was just these pellets of fucking yeah. snow. It's wow, were they coming? Remember the night leaving the hall to yeah. go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> was that scary or what? Oh, it was. <laughs> Did you guys we, get we, lost? We, no. They, thank they God. didn't let us go go out of, of uh, where we were. And uh, in the middle of the reservation. Yeah. And it was in the middle of the night because I wanted to stay until John Tobel was. Uh, oh, it was getting late. So I asked the police officer. I said, I said uh, uh, "Can we go out of, on the road?" And he said, "Well, nobody came back." Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's just how he said it too. Yeah. And nobody came back. <laughs> what does that mean? So in the middle of the night, we went over to the church they offered us to sleep in, and everybody could, could sleep in there. Yeah. And uh, we didn't know where the church was. Right. We couldn't see it. We couldn't see the buildings. Oh. I mean, and it was about as far away as the garage. Oh, this is no shit, right? Yeah. Maybe yeah, a, little, it's a little further. Maybe but the end of the garage, yeah. or across the street. But yeah. It wasn't that far away that you couldn't. No. You should have been see able to see it. it. Wow. No so silhouettes. What nothing. we did was we thought that there's there's light, so we we saw a light over yeah. there, and we went over there. Ellie, uh, Shanique, and me. I had Jared and. and yeah, you you, you already were in the church, and then we were. And the building where the light was, and we we saw that it wasn't the church. Right. We were wrong, and we were cold then. Oh, we were so cold, cold. Yeah, and, so and cold, we so quick. and we yeah so quick, and uh, we said to each other, if we don't go back into the building where we came from, or we find a church within two minutes, then we're, we're frozen. Afraid. Yeah. So we found the church in two minutes. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey. This one is over uh, two hundred years old. It was. Uh, Given to me by my uh, father, who got it from his mother, from her mother, from her mother's mother. <coughs> from the beginning of time, these masks were given to us to take care of us here on earth by the Creator, to watch over us and to give us the uh, spiritual tie we need with the, from the earth to the heaven, which all human beings have because we are made from both the heavens and from the earth. And these keep us in contact with both both levels of the spiritual uh, 
elevation that our uh, human bodies go through as we mature in age and mm -hmm. time. And these things here all take care of us that way. His face is twisted because he had a... Uh, 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 <clears throat> when he was roaming the earth, when the Creator made the earth, his spirit was also here. So the Creator recognized the spirit that he had created along with the earth. And so they had a uh, contest to see who had the most strength and uh, who was the real spiritual being here. And so uh, they each called a mountain. And when he called a mountain, the Hadoui here called a mountain, shook his hand. His hand was in the form of a turtle rattle. And this is the turtle rattle here. So the Hadoui's mythical arm was shaped like a rattle. So when he shook his hand like this here, it was the turtle shell, and he shook. With that vibration, the mountain moved, mm -hmm. but it didn't come all the way up to him. So then the creator said, okay, it's my turn. So he told him to look away. He says, don't look. He says, uh, I'm going to summon that mountain up to us. So as the uh, creator raised his arm, the Hadoui turned, and he looked, and here that quick, the mountain came up to him and hit him in the face, oh. and it broke his nose and distorted yeah. his mouth and all his facial features and this is the lesson that was taught to us about that story is that the sole power here of uh, the human being on earth is the creator in his various helpers that he's put here on earth to help us with the guardians of the human being here and he is one of them and with that the creator recognized his strength so he give him the job of finding our uh, native herbal medicines and also helping us with our uh, our mental uh, well-being too. He's used in dream interpretations and different ceremonies when he's brought out. They're brought out four times a year to uh, give thanks to the Creator for sending him here to show us the various herbal medicines we use to take care of our people and to uh, help uh, the human being here on Earth uh, with the various things. So that's the story of the Hadoui, and this is a society. It's a secret society because. The dancers uh, uh, wear these masks and nobody knows who the dancers are when they perform these ceremonies when they take place because you take the spiritual uh, being of the mask and you no longer become the human. You're able to put your hand in hot coals and fire and do special healing ceremonies by being these absorbing these special powers that were given to him by the Creator and that was his job here on earth is to help uh, the uh, uh, people here. The wall over there is uh, the uh, uh, buffalo skull that my son pierced with. He's a, he was a sun dancer up till his death three years ago. And it's a very sacred skull. He pierced through his chest and through his back for uh, three days before he broke loose from the uh, sun dance pole. And so that has special meaning for me, the, the skull there. They incorporated yes. the Hadoui's from the eastern tribes with the western tribes where the sun dance took place. But at one time, all the tribes had their own sun dance, not just the tribes out west. The eastern tribes also had a sun dance too, which a lot of people don't know because they basically see all the ones out in the west, you know, in the west with the Sioux and, and, and the uh, uh, the crows and all the uh, other uh, tribes out there. Other tribes have the sun dance. Well, we had one too, but. This time they took the Hadoui's with them and it was incorporated in the ceremony down there. So it was a real special ceremony that the mass went to. There's a lot of water too, huh? In Holland. Yeah. We add flavor to it and we call it beer. Oh! <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think that you, you guys in Holland drink too much beer. Oh, yeah. <coughs> That's my read, no. <laughs> Does this light bother you? Well, it's kind of fucking late to ask. Okay, I will turn it off. No, it doesn't bother me. <laughs>
car. It looks like they might have a car. Oh, they all have a car. Uh, let's hope so. I wonder if they're open. That's they're not. No, they're open. No, they're not. No, the lights are out in the gas forget tanks. About, forget about the gas. Yeah. Well, somebody's in there, actually. An old woman. Huh? No. It's closed. No. Oh, okay. They Next close week. at 10. I don't know. That's just yours. It's Pennsylvania. Nope. It's closed. Oh, wow. Well. No. So here we are, we're in the cheese capital of the United States, Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Yeah. What's the date? Today is a, a great day, actually. Now you want to know the date, too, huh? It's April 20th in the year 2005. And we are here in Wisconsin. Smelling the cow shit? Smelling the cow shit. You can smell it. Mmm. Mmm. Might be cheese. No. Here in Wisconsin, they have a football team called the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay, Wisconsin. That's the way they do. And their fans wear a wedge of cheese on their head. A big wedge of cheese on their head. That's the way they do. Well, actually, it's not real cheese. It just uh, looks like it. And they call it cheese heads. Laying down one night. Papa tell mama. Good papa tell mama. Little boy boogie. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And you gotta come out. What do you got there? I don't know, it's uh salami? Yeah. Oh salami. Uh, kosher salami with um, um, cheese and mustard. I'll write that. It's delicious. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, sir. You gotta come out. I felt so good. When I'm bullying, get the same. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Let's go down this Off of your feet. <laughs> me out, out off of my feet, boom, 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 bang, 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 bang. This, this can go to the 
It's all mixed food. That was something. I don't know what it is. Another <laughs> <laughs> part. It's heavy, huh? There's a lot of clothes there. Yeah. A lot of warm sweaters. Real warm sweaters. And, and beautiful coats, though. Yeah, right. well, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of really good there's stuff. Nice coat. What are some of the main issues that the families on the reservation uh, are confronted with? Yeah, yeah a lot of these uh, problems, you know, they're, they have to do with the uh, income. And a lot of them don't have enough income for their, their families. Uh, the gas price is really high, like everywhere else. It's it, it's higher in the reservation than it is in Rapid City, and uh, and it seems like the Indian people are the poorest people, but yet they they get you know they get the worst of it. See? And uh, so 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 there's a lot of the people that are you know they don't they're not able to buy any clothes even you know for the kids, and the kids go to school with the same clothes, and then they're dirty, and then. And then, they're, and then they just get frustrated and don't go to school. And, and then, but when they do get some nice clothes, well, then boy, then they, they make a difference, you know. Then they, you know, they go back, and, and uh, so the, you know, the uh, the other problems there's certain influences, bad influences that are in the schools that are getting some of the kids back at, uh, getting into some uh, uh, the beige, uh, the marijuana, or, or now even meth, you know, and, or even some trying some cocaine. And, and, uh, so there's a lot of dangers, you know, that we have to educate them and make them aware that uh, hey, this is what is going to happen, you know. And plus, you know, plus, you know, there's a chance that you will be arrested and you will be convicted and sent to jail. So, so it isn't just the Cody Youth, but there's other school programs and a lot of others that are trying to that are doing the same thing, you know, and that's trying to educate the youth. So we all have to work together, you know, that we have to, uh, you know, continue it. Native people. You never know. It's a tax well, right. and often maybe these are, the plans, these are the plans that we're working on. You, know, you do a letter up with my name and I'll mail it in there and I'll follow it up. You're doing a good job, Jim. Yeah, I turned up my, my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that mud's pretty thick mud. It, oh. it sticks out of the ground. I, I didn't have my leases. In my leases, my sneaker is laced. It almost pulled them right off of me. <laughs> <laughs>
Wounded Knee on the Pine Ridge Sioux Indian Reservation, also known as Prisoner of War Camp 44. And here's the mass grave of the people who were massacred here at Wounded Knee in 1890. Chief Bigfoot and his people who came here unarmed, running for safety from the military, but they were stopped by the 7th Cavalry. The massacre, of course, is well known among all American Indian people, especially of the United States of America, as the signature event of Indian history. They put a Hotchkiss gun up there on that hill. You know, the Hotchkiss guns fired rounds about like a 50 caliber. They put them up on the hills over there and up over here. See, then there were no trees. Just brush. And they put a Hotchkiss gun right here. And when it, uh, when the order came, they massacred men, women, and children, over 300. Judges and yeah, and the only, time, the only time they get any help is when they get to prison, and you know what kind of help you get there. I mean, those are the, those are uh, things what we're talking about. These youth, things like that, to to create a a murders of your own people, mm -hmm. Just young people, young your grand people. You know, uh, I mean, <laughs> what's what's happened? Yeah, and I think we all have to ask ourselves that. You know. <coughs> but the youth need help. Yeah. The youth need help, and I think until some kind of good program can be de can develop, and they're probably out there already in different areas where there's no news on it. You know, you don't hear about these things. But uh, if they can find programs that could set good examples to set growth seeds to where you can start making people look at their values. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's where it's got to start. But how do you get them to do that? And I think building an environment of a, of a youth house within your community would be a way to, to do that. Mm -hmm. set, then set up the value system however you want to teach them to learn things to get away from all the negative things that are just destroying their lives. You know, we haven't even touched on drugs, you know. Mm -hmm. 
the spaces and things like that. And yeah. Division of fighting with one another, but the drug thing is another thing, the alcohol, the, and the, the hate, you know, the hate that comes yeah. out of yeah. people. It's a, surprising sometimes. The yeah. people you don't expect to get the, get the arch, you know. Well, it's, it's not just anger, it's it's really... Uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a yearn, they man. They, yeah. It's some kind of year and they don't know how to let out, you know, no, right. and they don't know how to express it, so they do it in negative ways where they, they, they're reactionary and they're paying for something they sorry they did later, you know. Yeah. I know that uh, the, the, the Christian churches uh, are allowed in jails, that, uh, that they can uh, carry their Bible and so on, mm -hmm. um, but I think a lot of, a lot of youth uh, Indian youth is in jail too, and uh, well, they have no relation, or uh, most of them don't have a relation with the Bible. How how can they deal with their uh, own heritage? How how can they deal with with their own ceremonies and so on? Is that allowed in jail? It's allowed, and never again. You you have to fight for it all the time. You, if you have a schedule, it changes. You know, it changes because of security things they come up with. Uh -huh. that has something to do with the, running the institution. You know, uh, I think it's a lack of understanding, a lack of understanding among non-native people. I think we need to educate them, and they need to allow us to go in and teach them. Mm -hmm. It's a man-made world, Chris. <laughs> man-made world, man. We forgot natural laws and. Yeah, that's true. We forgot our, our original instructions on what was given to us within our territory. Whenever time began, then we've lost that heritage. See? Mm -hmm. So whatever your way was, I mean, you had a language, you had a territory, you had a culture, you had a way of life from season to season. You had directions on how you would respect other life around you. Yeah. See? But look at what we did today in the name of, again, democracy, you know. Americanization concepts have read of conquered cultures around the world and territories, you know, and it's it's a big disease and I think it's going to continue like a cancer. It's going to kill itself and I think Mother Nature is going to have a big part of that eventually as we already seen from time to time. Mm -hmm. Tsunami is a good example recently. Yeah. Um, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, however it comes in the points of nature and those kinds of powers, you know. I think those are the changes that we have to <coughs> deal with it as a people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think eventually all cities are going to lose energy because they can't grow life. Mm -hmm. There's too much concrete and that used to be like a tree growing in that fresh air every day, you know, it could breathe and grow, but cities and the air, earth it sits on can't do that. No. So we create earthquakes and the unbalance and, and all these different things. So I think coming back to those kinds of knowledge of respect is what needs to be taught to these youth, you know. You can look so far there, even to the back left. Great. Yeah, it's good to do that. Yeah. I think Don't we need some air food. Don't eat and talk about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah. I had to go like this to get the food in. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was stuck up here. It backed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, God. Uh, eat all you want. <laughs> oh, God. I have to lose weight.
that I'm a little of a boy Baby, I'm a little lover boy 